I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. All right, I want to ask you a few functional things uh, when it comes to training. Um, now, what is, in your opinion, right, what is the best way to put on mass and size without getting fat and sloppy? You know, what's the, what's the rule to that, in your opinion? Well, it, it, it will vary from person to person, but I personally try to put on as much weight as I can while still seeing abs, while still being able to see something in my midsection. If you, you know, if you're asking what type of foods, I would up all my clean food. You know, when I'm dieting for a competition, I might only be taking in 100 grams of carbs. Well, when I'm off season, I'll have at least 50 to 60 or sometimes 100 grams of carbs per meal just to, to flood my system. And, and as long as I'm not getting sloppy, uh, I'll continue that. Um, it, it's kind of a, you know, it really does depend on the individual. And that's why you have to reassess every couple of weeks, look and see how you look and you're growing. Are you putting on weight or are you putting on fat? You're putting on water or, or are you literally putting on muscle? Do you do uh, carb cycling when, let's say, you do high carb on, like, two days, then, like, lower, lower, and then off, and then do you, do you practice that? Yeah. So I never understood the pre-scheduled carb cycling, like, saying, you know, you're going to have a low day in two days just because. I would have a low day because I'm only training arms. But then I'd have high day on back day. I'd have a high day on leg day. And then when I do shoulders, I'll, I'll go back down to a low day. So th the level of carbs would be determined by the amount of energy I need to train that day. So if I got to do legs, I need a lot of fuel. So I'll eat more. You get it? If, if I'm doing arms, it doesn't require a lot of energy, a lot of fuel to do arms. So I'll cut back. That's how I carb cycle. It really depends on the fuel needs of that day. I saw a video of you um, where you said in your off season, you eat whatever you want. Is that really true? Like you eat whatever, like any eat, type of junk food? Yeah. Yes, yes, because, um, it, it, and I, th there's a um, reason to that because I competed so much that I never truly had an off season. So my off season, say I did the Arnold Classic, I might have eight weeks to think around before I have to start getting ready for the Olympia. So really, I'm not, I just, I'm not strict. I might still have my breakfast, same breakfast every day, but I'd add some pancakes. I might ha have some ice cream at night. I might go get a steak tip sub during the day. I'm really lax, but it's only for a few weeks. And that's where the misunderstanding is. I never had a true off season where I was eating for gains, or I was trying to get to a certain weight. Uh, my off season was completely off. I would no supplements, no um, no real uh, um, stringent or, or, or uh, overly analytical training. No, you know none of that. I didn't think about anything. I wanted to get bodybuilding out of my mind for for eight weeks and then go back to the grind. So it's very different than what you hear today of off season. Today, people's off seasons are as strict as their pre-contest. And, you know, for me, off means off. And, and I shut it all off. I never, I never really, I was either competing or I wasn't. And it, that, that's how it went.